Hi, it's me, the science baby. I'm willing to bet that if you have a baby, or have spent any time around babies, then you have dealt with something like this. My internet friends all do it, and even I've been known to do it once in a while. Spit-ups, milky six, positing or reflux, whatever you want to call it. Some say that around half of babies experience it in their first year, although I think it's more common. I've yet to meet a baby that doesn't lose their lunch on the regular. It can be pretty alarming, but it's actually perfectly normal. Like so many things, it's a result of baby's body not being quite finished by the time they're born. In a grown-up's digestive tract, there are a whole bunch of sphincters, rings of muscles that can tighten to close off the tube at various points. The most famous one is at the very bottom of the digestive system, you know, in your bottom, but the sphincters all the way along, including one at the top of the stomach that opens to let food through and closes again to stop the stomach contents coming back up. The babies are born with underdeveloped muscles all through throughout their bodies, so the sphincters don't close as tightly as they should. That means it's very easy for milk to make its way back up the way it came, and certain things make it more likely, like a very full tummy, a burp, lying down, or trying to do too much after dinner. I think it's important to say that this isn't the same as vomiting. Spit-ups come easily, quickly, and quietly, even if they come out of the nose. And most babies are happy before and after the milky event. But if milk comes up with retching and is forcefully ejected several inches into the air, it's more likely to be a true vomit. And if the sick is green, yellow, or has blood or dark-colored bits in it, then there could be something else going on. These could be signs of a more serious stomach complaint. So it's worth talking to your doctor if you're worried. But you'll be pleased to know most baby sphincters will mature by the time they're one year old, so the spit-ups won't last forever. Now, I've spent far too much time in this video talking about sphincters, so you'll have to go to part two to see the rest.